Hi, Fofamid here, and today we're going to be talking about a cool VTuber application that you can use your webcam with, but you don't have to use your webcam with. It's really, really versatile, and it's only $10. The application is called VDraw, and today we're going to do a full walkthrough on this application so you know exactly what you're getting into and how to get started with it. Once you download VDraw, you can unzip it and then you'll have a folder just like this. And then all you have to do then is open the application. If you need to change the language, there's a button right here, but just note that everything is going to be in Japanese and in English. The English is going to be below in gray. So all you got to do now is you can load your VRM file, which we're going to be loading right here. Once you're going to be here, you're going to see some information about your model and you just press agree and they're going to be greeted with three different screens. So there's going to be the gaming style, the drawing style, and the typing style. So I think to start off, we're going to start off with the gaming style, and we're going to be looking at the gaming style. And this is best used if you have a controller. In the default setting, you're going to see your model. It should just automatically work sitting right there, and you're going to have two screens. And if you have a game controller, you're going to be able to pick it up, and then you're going to be able to see the controller moving, and it's going to correspond with your button presses. Wow, but there's a couple things that we might want to change here. First, let's get rid of these icons on the top. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings. So you're going to go to the left hand side to bring up the menu and then you're going to go down to the gear and then you're going to go to the other settings tab. And then here in the other settings tab, you're going to have a couple of options to change some things. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the VRM license icons because that's kind of annoying to have there. So if we close this out, you'll see that those are no longer there. And then there's some other options here. So for example, we can get rid of the face window, this right here, if you wanna keep that or not keep that. And then I believe you can also move it around as well. So in this case, we're gonna just move it over here. And this works really well. It basically makes like your own streaming setup. And what it does is it actually it shows your entire desktop display. So if you want to be able to change those things, we're gonna go back into the settings and then we're gonna go into monitor. And then here you can actually choose which monitors you want to display, or you can even have it so it chooses a specific window. And then here you'll be able to move the position of it. So you can move it up or down. You can change the scale of it and make it super big or super small. And you can also change how much it bends. So like you can make it like a roll, like a roll, but we're gonna make it like a nice fancy curved screen. And then here you can also change the position of where the camera is. change the angle of it, bring the camera up and down. And then you can also change some of the things with the gamepad position. So you can make the gamepad go up, you can make it go down, and you can bring it closer or further away from you. And you can also increase the scale. So like you can make it so you're like you're holding a giant controller. Wow. And this is the game position right here. Normally I like to use this without this camera here. So if you want to change your style, you can go to the left hand menu right over here, click here, and we're going to change to the drawing style. And this is a really great mode to use if you're doing any art or if you're playing a game like Osu. Here's in the drawing mode is where this application I think really shines the most is like you you're can, you can do all of the art that you want and it actually looks like your model is doing this in VR, which is super, super cool. And this is one of the main highlights of the draw feature. So when you're in the draw mode, there's some things that you might want to change in terms of your setting. Here, you can change the color of the pen. So we're going to change the color of the pen trail. Here, we can change the pen position so we can move it like this. So we can make the model go out of the way of the pen. You can make it so that we're standing more or going higher. It gives you a lot of options for customization here. And you can also change the transparency of the pen as well. You can also make it so that your body's more rotated. So like, like do, 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 do. you can change the eye movement sensitivity so that your eye moves more rapidly. Here you'll option for lighting. And then here you'll have the option to adjust the pen in case your pen is like slightly off and you can change how the pen is angled. And you want to just do your best to try and position the pen exactly where it would be. So it'd be naturally. This application can also register keyboard inputs. We can just turn that on right now. Oh, you can make your model transparent too by clicking this button. So in the typing mode, you'll have access to the keyboard. And here you can also change the size and the scale of it. If your keyboard does not show up, then what you need to do is go into the other settings and scroll down and then you might have to toggle this. So even if the check mark is still there, it might not show up. So just uncheck it and then check it again and then it should appear. Now we're going to change the size of the keyboard and it'll give you the same options of positions on where the keyboard's going to be. 
And then even if we go back into the drawing mode, you'll still have access to the keyboard, which you can see. And so you can see that typing is still working right there. And you can also change it if you don't want your key presses to be exposed. So if we go back into the typing mode, because right now it's actually accurately telling me which key it is, what you can do is you can go into your settings and then in the keyboard and gamepad, you can check the random typing. So even though right now I am typing just the R key, it's randomly typing different things. So it's randomizing it. So people won't actually know like exactly what you're typing. So here, just one key and now it's randomized. Here's the, the last part of the settings that we're going to look at for VDraw is you can actually save to a bunch of presets by loading them here. It also allows you to have a virtual webcam. That means that anything that appears on this screen will work as a webcam. So you can use it in Zoom or in Discord calls as well. You can also change the resolution. So we're going to do that right now to 1080p. Oh, wow. Here you'll have options for quality, bloom, as well as being able to choose your different setting. Now, if we go back to the side menu over here, you'll be able to change the background. So here you can change the position of where you are oriented in this 3D world that they created for you. You can optionally change to different color backgrounds like this. And if you want to, you can load your own picture in the image folder. This is where you're going to be putting any images that you want to change for your background. And then what you'll see is that it'll magically appear into this list if you refresh it. And then now we have our nice, wonderful image that we can see appearing in the background. And this is where you can toggle between using the 3D background that's provided or using a background image. Very basic webcam uh, tracking. It's not going to be as good as an uh, application like VC face, but you can use it by selecting your webcam and then having it here. And you can see like right now it's kind of tracking my face. It does an okay job. You can play with some of the weighting of how it's going to activate with the blend shapes. You can calibrate it again. And then here it's calibrated. Personally though, I tend to not like using the webcam tracking with VDraw because I find it's like, it's not as good. So one of my favorite use case scenarios for this is this to kind of use this when you're playing a game to use this as a, uh, like a game shot camera or like a hand cam. And we're going to change it to be Comer key green. We're going to get rid of the avatar face window and we're going to get rid of the particle effect. And then what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to get rid of the monitor and we're going to change the position of the camera. And then we're going to turn the avatar transparency and then boom, we have a nice little green screen cam that we can use if we're like playing a controller game. So what I could do is you can go into your OBS screen like this. And then we're going to add a game capture source of VDraw. And look, you got a little nice little hand cam when you're playing a game. So like imagine you're playing Dark Souls and I could be like this. Like it doesn't match the shaders, but I mean like most people who are using like, let's say if you're using like Luppet, for example, you can go like this. You'll you'll catch like the side to side movement. You'll have your facial tracking if you have that. And then you also have your controller inputs like that, right? Personally, like this is my favorite use case for this. Yes, you're paying $10 for an app that does this, but it does so much more. That was VDraw, which is a paid application, which is $10. The links are gonna be down in the description below. I'll also link a free trial version that you can use as well if you just wanna try it out if you're curious. Or if you have any questions specifically about it, you can pop into my stream. I live stream on Twitch four times a week. And if you have any questions about it, let me know there. See you.